to this channel thank you for joining us here we want to solve this problem and uh, if you are just joining us subscribe to this channel for more of our videos now here let's break the power down we can say we have 4 to 1 9 raised to power here we can split this 9 over 4 to 2 plus 1 over 4 so because this will still give us 9 over 4 and uh, you can see that uh, we have some in the exponent so we can split it as well and say this will be 4 over 9 raised to power 2 then times 4 over 9 raised to power 1 over 4 so we have split it down now because we have some so they can multiply we have you know two base now then from there here we know that 4 over 9 everything raised to power 2 means that we still have it as 4 raised to power 2 divided by 9 raised to power 2 so that's what we have there so each of them is raising to the power of 2 and from there on this side we have this as we can write what is inside as 2 you know square over 3 squared then all raised to power 1 over 4 because 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9 so in a similar way we can write this and say this should be 4 raised to power 2 that's 16 then 9 raised to power 2 that's 81 then times we can bring this power out now simple so far the 2 having the same power that's 2 over 3 raised to power 2 times 1 over 4 and you know this power multiplies so 2 here 1 2 here 2 now and from there we can say we have 16 over 81 then times 2 over 3 raised to power what will be left is 1 over 2 here yeah? and uh, when we have anything raised to power half that's same thing as square root of that thing like we have a raised to power half in a law of indices this will be square root of a so we can say this is square root of what we have and say this will be 16 over 81 multiplied by square root of everything here and same thing as splitting it and say square root of 2 over square root of 3 then what this one give us is simply 16 over 8, 16 root 2 now by the time we multiply over 81 multiplied by root 3 and uh, now we can rationalize this by multiplying with root 3 and divide with root 3 so that's rationalizing rationalizing the denominator and by the time we multiply it now we have 16 root 6 divided by you know this is root 3 times root 3 that's 3 that's 81 times 3 and uh, this one will give us 16 root 6 divided by 243 and that is our solution so therefore we have the answer will give us 16 root 6 divided by 243 thank you for joining us and uh, don't forget to click on the subscription button see you in the next class and bye for now